right guys, well, a couple of years ago, uh, we flew to Washington and we purchased this fake Lamborghini. You guys thought that we were absolute idiots for doing so and um, you'd be correct. This thing is an absolute pile of junk. Uh, it barely runs and the interior is falling apart because it was never together. Well, an opportunity presented itself and we're buying another fake Lamborghini today. <laughs> You guys might recognize this guy, the Strap Man on YouTube. He's got the craziest car collection and uh, you're kind of known for Lamborghinis. Yes, 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 yes. So we're kind of known for fake Lamborghinis. Now. It's a match made in heaven. It baby. really is. I just want to say like congratulations that. though. Well, this is a monumental day for you guys. We are, we are very excited. Oh my God. It's so good. Anything that breaks is your guys' responsibility. Obviously, doors do go up. Not quite as fancy as yours. Wow. Check that out. Jeep Liberty, baby. So it's a Lamborghini Diablo built on top of a Jeep Liberty frame. Yep, yep. Exactly. A Jeep Liberty, that's great for off-roading. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I thought ours was uh, pretty rough around the edges, but this one might actually have it beat. Don't take that the wrong no, way. No, I, 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 I'm not insulted whatsoever. That's why when you guys pulled up in your other fake Lamborghini, I was like, oh gosh, that was way nicer than this one. Oh but it's a different God. purpose, right? Yeah, this is for off road and the other one's for speed. Exactly, exactly. exactly. That's now, a show car. This is a workhorse. Right, now we got the best of both worlds. Yeah, something's off with all the other nice cars in this garage, and then you got this. I can see why you wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> we found what Evan likes. <laughs> it's a Lamborghini for you. <laughs> Lamborghini I have. Well, actually, that's a 101. There's only 20 of these in the world, though. This thing's probably worth like $65,000, give or take. Can you imagine me pulling up to Zorba's in this thing this summer? That's just crazy. You're getting rid of the crown jewel of the collection. I know. I just knew that it would go to a family that would love and cherish it more than me. Yeah. This is when everything fell apart when we bought our first one. It looked a little rough, and then we drove it, and it barely drove down the road, and we still bought it. So you, you have nothing to worry about really there. So the driver's seat is bolted down with one bolt. There's no seat belts. There is a license plate on the back though, so it's street legal. It passed Utah emissions, so you're good. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go for a ride. <laughs> Sounds like a freaking derby car. Oh, we're a little floppy. Call that floppy door. Two. Just gotta give it a little persuasion. I know you got it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Smooth as butter, baby. You're gonna have to hit the gym if you want to drive this thing. No, no! <laughs> Man, you get in the car one time, you just start breaking yeah. it. What? <laughs> don't touch don't it. Don't touch it. Do don't not even, touch this door. Don't even look at it. Oh, it's touchy. Oh, <laughs> there it is. The people watching right now are probably like, you guys are so stupid, and you would be right. Just because we're stupid doesn't mean we don't like to have a little fun. <laughs> <laughs> is it gutless? No, dude, this thing feels great. But I'm also used to driving the other Shambo, and that thing does not feel great. Add some pep in her step. Yeah, she rips a little bit. Oh my god, this thing is so us. There's so many squeaks and rattles. <laughs> Bro, this thing is gonna rattle apart. Dude, everyone's just looking at us, man. You trying to run them? What's the retail on one of those, bro? More than you can afford, buddy. <laughs> Whoa! Great, man. It's better than that one. It's so much it better. It is. Like, you can actually drive it around. Yeah, it's a little more practical. I know we already wired you the money, but... I'm having a little bit of seller's remorse. <laughs> oh, I, still, I haven't signed over the title. Congratulations. Good deal, man. Yeah. Good deal. Proud owners of uh, not one, but two fake Lamborghinis now. Who else can say that, you know? 
Nobody else. I don't else. know if anyone Nobody. should be saying that. I don't know if anybody else wants to say yeah. that. <laughs> That's insane. Just wait till you hear it at 8,000 RPMs. Oh it seems. We can't leave without getting the Lamborghinis together. We're going to have both the fake Lamborghinis and Strapman's fully carbon fiber at Benador. Just a bunch of modified Lamborghinis going for a drive. Dream. Like that didn't feel real when we were just mobbing and I just see Ev driving just boom 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 in the background. Yeah, no, I didn't, yeah that's crazy. We gotta get a little rub out. Yeah, yeah. We gotta line up the two Lambos. Am I good? Yeah. 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 Straight, straight. I got you. Yeah. Ev takes out one of Stratman's Lamborghinis. This is the last guy that should be driving a vehicle yeah. in this garage. Is this so stressful driving? <laughs> Maybe like this car could just like do something out of my control like I mean it very well could like just go on its own <laughs> might be on the way. Yeah, so. right. yeah, it was cold police. You guys gotta get out of here. Yeah, well anyways, it was nice hanging. See ya. <laughs> we'll take our fake Lamborghinis and leave now. Alright guys, we are at Heavy D's shop in Salt Lake City, Utah because we needed a place to get the shambo off the ground because we had a couple modifications and they were nice enough to let us use their shop and actually help us with the build, so shout out to those guys. We went ahead and we got new wheels for this thing. Being an off-road Lamborghini, it needed a little bit meatier of a setup, so that's what we did. We got 33-inch tires on the beadlock wheels and it's all thanks to Custom Offsets for sending us the wheels. If you guys are in the market for wheels, tires, or suspension, hit up Custom Offsets, they'll take good care of you and let them know that we sent you. And then we got two new races racing seats thrown in this thing. So before, as you guys saw, there was just one seat and it was held down by one bolt. So the guys over here helped us make some custom brackets. So these things are solid now and they also got harnesses. And then they also put in this roll cage in the front here because before, if it rolled, it would have been very bad. But we also got a hitch installed on the back here. So she should be ready to pull too. Yeah, the plan is to pull our first fake Lambo with our new fake Lambo just because, I mean, why, why wouldn't you? And then we also got a light bar because it's not an off-road rig if you don't have a light bar on it. It looks so much better now, dude. It looks just like a proper off-road Lamborghini. Some of the parts didn't fit, but that's partially because we ordered them for our Lamborghini Diablo and it's actually a 2006 Jeep Liberty underneath it. So, yeah. lesson learned, but made them work. Yeah, this is way better. A Little bit more solid than the fiberglass, huh? Yeah. It's like yeah. you guys are good at building these weird vehicles. No, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everything is fixed and ready to go except for the door. This door is still locked. We'll just ratchet strap it again. 
All right, so the plan for today is we're heading down to St. George. It's about a four hour drive, and we're gonna be pulling our original fake Lamborghini with our new fake Lamborghini. Probably a bad idea, but the only reason we really bought this thing is because it had towing capabilities, and we just thought it'd be nice to be able to show off both of our Lamborghinis at once. It looked ridiculous before, but now it's just added another layer to it. What do you think, Ev? It's kind of disgusting. Ev's mad that we didn't put 24 inch gold wheels on it. Do you think it's cooler if it was an El Camino? Obviously. It'll be a good tow rig. Yeah, yeah. No, I heard that like Jeep Liberties were really good at, at pulling yeah. heavy things. Yeah. That's what the L stands for. L for what? Uh, <laughs> large towing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You guys might be saying, this is a bad idea. Well, it's not every day that you can pull your fake Lamborghini with your other fake Lamborghini, so be ashamed to miss an opportunity like this. Squat out with nothing on it. I think the towing capacity of the Jeep Liberty is definitely less than this trailer weighs with nothing on it. So having another vehicle on it should be interesting. We got this guy over here. You wanna get this piece of junk out of here? <laughs> what do you think of that thing, Ev? Honestly, it's almost as ugly as this thing. Yeah! Is she fully squatted or is she gonna roll? We might need to back it up a little bit. We don't have much clearance. Keep going. Oh yeah, that's way better. a violent experience. There's nothing graceful about this. Not a single bit. You guys are scared. <laughs> I knew it was scary. This is, <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> it smells like I'm just doing like a constant burnout. Really? Oh yeah, dude. It's it, just like burning in the tread off the tires. It's so in the wheel well. So loud in here. Like we can't even hear each other. <laughs> yeah, it's just. It's so bad. I don't know if this is making it four hour drive. Mm. Well, it was a good dream while it lasted. Yeah. Did it look awesome? Yeah, yeah, it looked amazing. Everyone couldn't take their eyes off you. Should have seen how like happy and mad some of the people were at oh, you guys. I bet. No, I can imagine, <laughs> dude. It's about nine o'clock. People are trying to get to work and they're getting held up by two green Lamborghinis. Sorry, we're trying to work here. <laughs> All right, we had to move some things around to get the Jeep Lamborghini to fit. It's an extremely tight load. Uh, both trailers are maxed out. And now we're off to St. George. I think we need a friggin' semi, dude. This is a lot of stuff. Dude, I've been getting into semis lately. I'm looking at them like they're like tuner cars. I'm like, why am I interested? Money Mike needs a semi. Mike in a Peterbilt? No way. What's up, Cam? Let's go, baby. We're in Utah, man. <laughs> Good to see you, bro. Hey, How are you doing? <laughs> I'm glad to see you hasn't changed. <laughs> Where did the fun begin, huh? We made it, baby. Oh, man. What'd you guys bring? Oh, you're going to like what we brought. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Gab just thinks it's some kind of three wheeler death trap. <laughs> Whoa, Ken. Of course, you have an electric car. Huh? Is that an electric Kia? A uh, Hertz manager special. You're know. telling me you didn't choose the electric car they gave you? It? I like, said, hey, I have a car reservation. Okay, here's your slip. Here's your space number. I think you're just taking this as an opportunity to test drive your dream car. Who dreams to buy a Kia? Sorry. Well, you, I don't <laughs> Sorry, know, Kia man. owners, but. <laughs> Pick up my sister in it. If that's what it's going to take. <laughs> yeah, let's make it happen, dude. I'm still fighting for you every day. Uh, She's engaged you, now. You saw <laughs> As she actually is. The guy was like, dude, can you just cut it out? Like, <laughs> soon to be brother in law is like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah, like, did I do something wrong? Sorry, Chris. <laughs> I just started following you guys a couple of months ago. It's wow. great stuff. Oh, nice, thank you. Appreciate I got, it. I got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you do. You got a couple years worth of videos. I'll take care of the big guy, all right? We will. We will. <laughs> you know, he takes care of himself. He's pretty self sufficient. He doesn't appear that way, but he is. He's a good kid. Everyone's so worried about Ken. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? <laughs> you put 35s on a freaking Lambo? That was amazing. I, I did not expect it to be like that. <laughs> you guys have strapped this already. 
after we got here, right? You just got the Bluetooth tie down, so. Ah, got it, got it. Ken, did you try to pick out the lamest rental car ever or what? I picked out the cheapest one they had available when I booked. I'm not buying it. I feel like this is something you have to pay up, extra for. It just seems weird that it's like, he just happens to get randomly put in an electric vehicle that also looks like his Tesla. It's like, this guy just can't just ever go normal for once. Just get a gasoline, regular vehicle. Feels right now. Yeah. This feels real right. Boys, I smell the tranny foot. Who's got a leak? It could have been any of them. This car is basically what Weston is in right now. This this is basically just his rental car. Actually, he has a grand chair. That's way better than Oh, it's even it's even nicer. Way better. I literally don't think there could be a worse Jeep chassis to have underneath this thing for as far as off-roading goes. Yeah, I don't know what the plan was there. They must not have been thinking about the actual capabilities of it, but We'll find out what those capabilities are here in about three minutes. A Jeep livery is like something you get a teenage girl for her first car. Definitely a girlfriend car, dude. <laughs> that might be why. The guy was like, well, my daughter has graduated high yeah. school. I'm going to take her car back. What do you think about it, man? It's good looking from afar, but far from good looking. <laughs> oh, my God. That's actually not as bad. Like, I hit that pretty hard. Yeah! <laughs> no way! Yeah! Nobody thought it was going to be able to do that. Zero suspension, right? You don't need suspension when you're rock crawling, though, right? You got the skateboard. Dude, I'm so pumped. Dude, nobody thought you were gonna make that. Everyone started cheering when you went up it. <laughs> <laughs> is one thing, but I think it's just the fact that every single bump we hit rubs in all four corners. <laughs> like all the wheels are rubbing at all the times. But I think other than that, she's doing great. That's so awesome, dude. He's driving that thing proper. I like it. Just like flexing out on the frame, acting as a brake. Like crank it yeah, and go straight up the hill. 78 degree angle, not far off a of 90. I don't know where he thinks he's going. Up. I am sick of you doubting this thing, Ab. He was trying to break down the numbers and he was wrong. What's up with that? I was wrong. Bro, Ab is such a Jeeperkini hater. Don't run my bike over now. Stop. 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 I might run it over, Ab, if you keep talking shit. When Ben sees a bike that could be ruined, he just gets a twinkle in his eye. Oh yeah, I'm the destruction guy on the channel. Part time. Part time. <laughs> Ev, are you still hating on it this much or what? Well, I just I just said it was ugly. Doesn't mean it's not capable. I didn't. I never said it wasn't capable. It's a freaking Jeep. I'd hope it could go through some sand. Dude, I heard you oh, down God. the numbers. <laughs> Such an aggressive hit. Oh, I ran it over! This is why we can't have nice things. It's a Lamborghini, Ben. It's a freaking Lambo, dude. Is that body fully attached to the frame? 
I, I kind of see it moving around when he goes over a bump. It looks like it may uh, have taken some damage. Oh! 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 I'm so surprised that nothing is broken yet. I, I know we're not even supposed to mention the word break, but like, I am honestly in amazement right now. Same, dude. What a time to be alive, though. The sun is setting over the mountaintop right now. Got all of our best friends in one spot. Got a fake Lamborghini at the top of the mountaintop. Does it get better? I, I don't know if it does, guys. <laughs> like, it is blowing my expectations out of the water. Like, I, I really wasn't expecting much. I thought it'd be cool, but it's functional. It's a, it's amazing machine. And uh, it really is just a great machine, isn't it? It's just such a good machine. It looks, it, machine. Looks, it looks really good too. And the wheels look awesome. Dude, you guys just took all the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> I think I can come down this and then loop it in. I don't this know. This would be the grand finale in my opinion. I will say the Lamborghini body looks like it's falling off the chassis. This might break it. Just I, so you know, speed solves all problems in this scenario. Yeah, in theory, you won't touch your drive shaft to any rocks if you're just jumping through the air. So he's just gonna come there, right here and down? Yeah. That one is gonna be ugly on the undercarriage. He's gonna get pushed. Well, and then there's like four of those. I don't think... Whoa. Well, saw that coming. Execution. Beautiful. We're giving away this 2020 Ram Mega Cab Cummins to one of you guys. All you gotta do is go to cboystv.com and every $5 you spend gets you entered. So head on over, pick yourself up some gear and uh, you might just win yourself this truck.